Good day, good day! How the hook are ya? This is your friend Dan-O, and this is Roverland, the YouTube channel that's anything and everything Land Rover. Have I got a video for you today. All right, all right, all right. Hey, guess what we got today? We got, uh, I don't know, we're messing around today. That's what we got. <laughs> so as you guys know, I just love this little casting. This is just awesome. Let's get it in the light here. This is the uh, Hot Wheels Range Rover Classic. And I wanted to just kind of show you uh, some goofing around that I've uh, been thinking about and doing. Um, we might could tag at the end the uh, Zamax that I made, and I think that I did um, show, uh, I just drilled this out, I didn't even try taking it off, but it popped right out. Um, uh, it with some um, um, real riders, yeah, I did some real riders on one, I think, uh, but I don't know if I want to try the yellow on there. The yellow or if I want to try the black ones on there what do you think oh I like the black because it goes with the uh, the black on the uh, the truck itself so I don't know I, do I have these wheels even off of this one this one no I don't even have the wheels off of that one so I don't think we can do that one because uh, yeah that's a pain in the butt this is uh, the uh, pr uh, premium uh, and that's uh, metal metal on metal so to get those buggers off yeah that's kind of a pain on the neck this one i've already uh done this is not original you know obviously code three and uh we've uh, put that on there so maybe we'll do the yellow ones i don't know we'll go with the white ones again i suppose uh yeah so anyway uh i was uh thinking about doing some goofing around and monkeying around with you so let's uh just uh flick on the camera and uh, see what kind of foolishness we can get into. So uh, I just take, uh, do you just see that? I just took one of the, the nipples there and just popped that off so I can just, uh, the, it's a three prong, and I like to just take off the, the, the third one, the odd man out, with a very sharp uh, um, box cutter or blade, and just take a little bit out, and then you can just pop those wheels out. It's surprisingly how um, tough these axles can be, but yet how easily they uh, bend. So you kind of have to be careful there and when you're getting them out so you don't, uh, don't bend them. Yeah, they, they bend. I'm surprised. Like I say, I'm surprised that they do that. So there we go. We've got the base all cleared up. Uh, let's, uh, we got time. Let's take this one apart and, uh, we're going to grab these yellow and red. Those are, uh, famous racing colors, aren't they? Um, the other thing, oh, you, you're asking me why I got the glue gun out. Yeah, well, I got another little, uh, something that I want to show you. And, uh, yeah, we're going to mess around with that. Let's see. I got to get something there sharp to poke in there get that axle back in there kind of kind of snap it back into the three prongs there there you go nice and see see it holds yeah that was a fluke that I got it cut just right <laughs> I think the back one I trimmed just a little bit too much yeah that one uh that one don't hold oh there now it made a liar out of me way to go oh matter of fact i think i can push that in just a little bit more too yeah there it goes there it goes all right so there we've got some real riders on her and let's just kind of build her back up here yeah let's just kind of build her up and uh, maybe by that time our um glue gun will be uh, ready huh all right well, bam, ba bam, cha ching, there she is. That is kind of cool. I like that uh, yellow and red. That kind of is cool. That's kind of, we, we did, uh, I think we did that to the uh, red one of these, the uh, Defender 90. I think we did that uh, before. Uh, check the playlist, Hot Wheels playlist. Yeah, so that's pretty nice. That snapped in there really, really nice. And it rolls like a charm. Sweet, sweet. All right, we're going to put those aside because we're not going to do that. 
All right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to take this thingy. Yeah, check this little thingy out. Yeah, it's a rack. Uh, I think it came from a Matchbox Porsche. Yeah, Matchbox Porsche there. And, uh, yep, that's right. We're going to deck this thing out. Um, so I cut it off from the uh, Porsche. And then I got a, I got a big old sander. Uh, a uh, bench sander. Yeah, it's got the... Uh, uh, look at how nicely that fits. That fits. So let me let me glue this bugger so then we can uh, kind of get my big fat fingers out of the way. And this is just a temporary. This is not the way you, you do it, you know. But this is going to be just kind of nice and temporary. So put a big old blob of glue on there. And then, you know, you could do this. And then you could kind of see exactly how it's going to look. But bam, check it out. And it's like per scale, man. Look at that. That is awesome. I like it. I like it a lot. We got a Christmas tree with, yeah, we got red. We got green. We got yellow. Yeah, pretty cool. So this is a pretty rough, um, you know, I've kind of sanded it kind of pretty rough there. I was just kind of like, hey, yeah, you know, and I didn't really have this model in mind. I think I had it on another uh, Land Rover, just uh, toying around with it, you know. So it's nice, um, you know, I see on YouTube a lot of guys, you know, they're making this stuff. And, oh, they have got more patience and everything. And this cost me a dollar. Now, that seems like a lot. I had the whole car. Uh, you know, you can scrap out other parts. Maybe you could resell that, uh, you know, uh, Porsche to somebody that collects Porsches and that wanted to do a custom there. But I mean, it just to get this kind of details and kind of get it to look, um, to scale and to, um, the same kind of what I want to say medium, you know, cause you know, look at the car, you know, look how, you know, the rounded, the corner, you know, it's it doesn't look like an add-on it looked like it could be molded that way you know just you, you just see what i'm trying to say it it's it doesn't you know so anyway hey i i'm gonna uh, see if i can do the spotlights now i don't do a lot with the uh, chrome the liquid chrome this is a malt malto uh original i picked this up at uh hobby lobby i don't know if you can see that really good but anyway um got a little thing in it kind of makes a little noise and uh it is liquid chrome now i i took a long time to buy one of these because one reason is uh land rovers don't have much chrome on them so why would i buy something that i won't use you know so we're just gonna light up these lights here i hope that's in the shot and i hope it's uh you know, like uh, in focus. So what I'm doing is just making uh, little circular motions and kind of spreading that, pushing that uh, paint around. That's kind of like what Time, Liner, Time Rider says. Go check his channel out, Time Rider, We Little Cars. And uh, yeah, he's uh, just a state over from me in Minnesota, but there it is. So check that out. I mean, that that just changes the whole thing let me put this on here while i talk because i don't want it to dry out but uh yeah check it out man check it out let's see if we can focus this in a little bit and just see so i mean if you don't have um the capability or want to take the time to make something like this you can spend a dollar and you can get some really cool stuff um you know uh, so then too, this is another, um, trick or whatnot is that you can, uh, take a Sharpie and, uh, just any, any one of them. And, uh, and this isn't like, you know, professional or anything like that, you know, but, uh, you, you know, if you wanted to play with this or whatever, you'd have to seal coat it, you know, uh, so the Sharpie wouldn't come off cause that will wear off, you know. But uh, you know, so you get her, get her on there. So this, this is a, a, 
and I don't know, I got this, you know, at Walmart, but it's a fine and an ultra fine. I don't know how well the ultra fine really does as far as, uh, you know, putting it down on a die cast. Let's, let's just try it on this strap here. Oh yeah, it's gonna see if we can get in focus here. Yeah, it lays down pretty good. Yeah. And so you can really get in there and uh, what we're gonna do, where'd the, where'd the cap go? Oh, there it is. All right, so uh, what we're gonna do is that thing has got a buckle on it. We're gonna put a little dot, see if we can put a little dot. Otherwise, we're gonna screw up the whole thing and it's gonna be all there. Look at that. Look at that. We, I gotta focus in again. I gotta show up my handiwork. See, there was a little bump there that uh, kind of was for the buckle on that gas can, which I don't know why you would store your gas can like that, but uh, yeah, there you go. All right, well, there you go, guys. I just wanted to show you a monkey around. That is cool. Um, that is glorious. That is grand. Check that bugger out. Yeah, I really, this year, we're gonna be doing a lot of more customs and a lot more stuff like that. So this is just another little taste, something, a little thing you can do to dial up your Land Rover for a couple of bucks. And really looks nice. Yeah. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. This is your friend Daniel. Thank you very much. Make sure you give me a thumbs up, subscribe over to Facebook, and remember, slow traffic, keep right, and have a great Rover day.